and welcome to Mouse Calls, bonus edition. Hi everyone, welcome to Mouse Calls. I'm Doc, and if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Um, Mouse Calls are my periodic Disney trips they are a chance for me to escape my stressful day job and make some memories with my friends and family. Um, these videos are really just meant to share that pixie dust with you all at home. And this is a mouse tail, which is going to be a bit of a shorter, more informal episode. Um, mouse tails are typically kind of on the tail end of one of my trips. Like uh, I did a departure day from our Fort Wilderness trip. But um, today we're actually kind of putting the tail before the mouse, so to speak, because this is actually our arrival day. I flew down here this morning. My parents have driven down here. And we are here at Disney's Old Key West Resort. Basically, we're staying here for just one night before we embark on our cruise on the Disney Wish from Port Canaveral. So super excited about that and also pretty excited to check out this resort. It's my first time staying here. This is the OG DVC resort, Disney Vacation Club. So I'm excited to check it out. It's still morning and our room isn't ready yet. So what we're gonna do is head over to Olivia's restaurant and check out their famous brunch. And I am pretty hungry, so. Without further ado, we will head over there. <laughs> nice shirts. Mom and Dad made these at Fort Wilderness with their own hands. <laughs> Old Key West is spread out amongst a lot of sections as far as the, the rooms go, but kind of the central hub is this Conch Flats area and that's where we're headed now. I've never had Olivia's brunch before, but it is apparently quite popular. Uh, I failed to get us, like even to try to get a reservation beforehand, so we have joined the walk-up wait list and our estimated wait time is like an hour, but whatever, we're gonna check out the general store for now. Lots of uh, Disney Vacation Club merch in here since, as I said, Old Key West. It used to be the Disney Vacation Club Resort before there were many Disney Vacation Club Resorts. And so now it's Disney's Old Key West Resort, but still very much a Disney Vacation Club centric place. Of course, we're not members. We're just staying here. Anyone can stay here. No. How cute is this license plate clutch? Well, a not uncommon occurrence is that we found that <laughs> there's a pair of ears that goes very well with mom's outfit. Look at that. <laughs> I, I'm a sucker for anything with like orange, oranges, orange slices, orange blossoms. <laughs> They're very beautiful. I unfortunately, I uh, packed my ears in my checked bag, which has a cover on it right now, so I'll be earless until we can actually check in. But moms look so good. You want me to get out? No. What you want me in? Very old Key West. This is a really nice area outside of Olivia's. You can kind of glimpse the main pool deck over there. And we've got a lighthouse. Oh my gosh. There's a shipwreck, a pirate shipwreck. That's cool. And then, you know, lovely view of the 
the road. <laughs> I'm standing in line here at Goods Food To Go, which is a walk-up, like, quick service location here. I'm gonna get a refillable resort mug, partially for my Diet Coke here, and partially so that uh, all three of us have a reusable cup for use on the cruise. Oh. <laughs> Surrey bike rentals are a thing here, apparently. You can get these refillable resort mugs at any uh, Walt Disney World resort, and you can also refill them for free at any Walt Disney World resort. So the initial cost is a little over 20 bucks, but if you have a longer stay especially, or if you are a bit of a Diet Coke fiend like I am, um, you can kind of get your money's worth out of it. And it's, you know, it's a little souvenir. Mom's taking a selfie. Sounds good. So we're sitting out here on this lovely kind of boardwalk area and we stopped at the gurgling suitcase, got some beverages, and now I think we can say we're officially on vacation. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I just got a Sam Adams summer ale, but what can I say? It, it tastes like summer. It tastes like being in a baseball game. Um, and then dad got this amazing, like, you know, uh, over the top garnished <laughs> Bloody Mary. Complete it's supposed to be spicy. Is it spicy? Good. Yeah, complete with bacon and shrimp. And then mom got the uh, Key West Sunset Ale because when in Rome, yes, it's very nice. Oh. Oh. Uh. We just saw a cool lizard. <laughs> but it is just really pleasant out here. I admit I've often kind of just dismissed Old Key West Resort, but the price was right for our pre-night before our cruise, and uh, I, I've got to say, so far, totally satisfied I would come here again, which I think has been the conclusion I've come to with basically every Disney World Resort I've been to so far. I can never get that. I've noticed that across the way there is some pirate treasure and a pirate who who just never stopped guarding it. All right, we got the text that our table is ready. Headed in for brunch. So, I've been perusing this menu for a while, so I've known what I was going to get. And uh, I've ordered the Crab Cakes Benedict, which, to be fair, I have had at the Contemporary Resort before, at um, Steakhouse 71 brunch or breakfast. Uh, so I know that I like that. And, you know, it's a nice, like, seafood brunch vacation vibes kind of dish. Mom is getting some blackened fish tacos and dad's getting more of like a classic breakfast. Um, so far, the atmosphere in here is nice. It has typical uh, Disney World restaurant noise levels. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. And to start, we have the savory hush puppies with key lime mustard, which I'm very curious about. Um, they also brought us some butter and jam for the Hush Puppies, so that's neat. Um, it's been forever since I've had Hush Puppies, but I do love me some Hush Puppies, so I'm excited about these. Oh wow, they're, they're hot and fresh. What is this? Is it 
Those are hot, fresh, savory, oniony hush puppies. And I've never had hush puppies with mustard before, but it's not bad. Yeah, I think these are a good appetizer. I'm not getting a ton of um, lime flavor from the mustard, but overall, I mean, I think it's still good. Oh, mom has discovered squeezing a lime onto the hush puppy. So maybe, maybe that's the move. All right, we're gonna try mom's method. So this is regular melty butter. I'm gonna dip it in the mustard. And then we'll squeeze a fresh lime on here. the fully dressed hush puppy. Mm. That is indeed the move. Our food has arrived. And our lovely server asked if cheesy breakfast potatoes were okay. And um, the answer was yes. <laughs> mm. Cheesy breakfast potatoes are always okay. I'm afraid I'm already slightly destroying the crab cake Benedict, but nice over easy eggs. This looks very appetizing. <laughs> That's exactly what I was hoping for. The crab is not too fishy. It's like, you know, real crab cakes. And you get some nice tang from the hollandaise sauce. The eggs are done perfectly. So I am very pleased with this breakfast. Thank you. Technically brunch, not breakfast. This is the afternoon. We're not drinking beers in the morning. One thing I've noticed about the crab cakes Benedict here at Olivia's is that they're actually on like a full buttermilk biscuit rather than just an English muffin. And so it's, it's pretty substantial. I guess it's half of a biscuit, but still pretty robust, very filling. Well, that was a delightful brunch and now it's, uh, I don't know, I want to say 1.30 in the afternoon or so. <laughs> and um, our room isn't quite ready yet. Check-in time technically is around 4 p.m. So we're still waiting, uh, but we do have some options. We could either go over to the pool deck um, or we could like, we could take the ferry boat to Disney Springs if it's not too windy. Um, I may see, see uh, whether that's possible or not. Well, okay, so apparently it's not necessarily the weather that's preventing us from taking the boat to Disney Springs, but the fact that Florida hasn't yet at this point in the year had enough rainstorms. They need the water in, in the actual like canal system to be a little bit higher. So we do have the option of the bus. We ended up taking the bus to Disney Springs. We did end up experiencing the, uh, the internal bus loop at Old Key West. It is one of those larger, kind of more spread out resorts. So when you're using the bus transportation, you have to be kind of prepared to take a little compulsory tour of the resort grounds on your way to your destination. But not too bad. Um, now we're here at Disney Springs and we get to walk off this brunch a little bit.
Well, that was a lovely turnabout Disney Springs that we had. Um, some successful shopping too. And we still haven't quite gotten the text that our room is ready yet. So we've got a little more time to kill, which may mean a game or two of cards. I'm gonna refill my resort mug and then I think we're probably gonna play cards in the air conditioning, but I figured I'd come over here and show you guys what the pool deck looks like during the day. We'll probably come back here when it gets a little bit later, maybe check out the hot tub. I also hear there's a sauna in that lighthouse, which sounds intriguing. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty nice little pool area. That uh, sandcastle water slide is pretty neat too. This is a nice little uh, library sort of salon area in the uh, hospitality house. Mom just spotted some uh, friends out here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> well, that was fun. We got to see, uh, got to say hi to Donald and Pluto and mom high-fived Goofy as well. I don't think I've ever, I, I think that may be the first time I've actually seen characters just kind of roaming around at a resort. So that was a neat surprise. And another neat surprise is that our room is ready now and we got a ground floor room just like we requested. So. We're gonna figure out where on this sprawling resort we need to go now. <laughs> Looks like we're headed to the turtle pond section. All right. Here we have it. We got a one bedroom villa for this stay. And it looks pretty spacious. Um, over here, it looks like we've got a laundry area. And the bathroom. Okay. Shower, toilet. Ooh, nice tub with this uh, kind of window to the master bedroom that a lot of the DVC villas have these days. Wow. And that is a bathtub. <laughs> it's nice that you can access the bathroom from either the master bedroom or kind of the living area. So, you know, no one has to walk through the bedroom to get to the bathroom or vice versa. Here's the bedroom. Looks classy, yet relaxed. We do have a little patio out here. Oh, wow. Here, let me see if this is unlocked. Nope. nope. Okay. There we go. Oh, we have a lovely little water view. I don't think I paid for anything special with this room. I think, you know, it was just a standard, but um, this is delightful. It's a great little area out here for chilling. Now, let me see if I can get in here. <laughs> nope, okay. All right, coming back through to kind of the main entryway, we've got 
the living area. Kind of a you know open concept kitchen deal here. And big TV in the kitchen island. Well, kitchen table, we've got quite a bit of uh, storage space over here. Not that we'll need it, we're only staying here for the one night. But still, this looks like a place you could uh, settle into pretty nicely and, you know, spend quite a bit of time in. It's fairly recently updated and it's, uh, yeah, it's clean, it's pleasant. I believe it's uh, this sofa that turns into a, a pull-out bed. So we'll try that out at some point. This bench in the bedroom also has big drawers. You really could fit uh, quite a lot of stuff in here if you were so inclined. Oh, we are probably going to settle in unpack a little and just kind of chill in the lovely air conditioned room for a bit. Um, and then I think this evening um, we're probably gonna, as I said, we'll probably go check out the pool deck once it gets a little darker. I really don't feel like slathering my entire body with sunscreen right now. So um, that'll be something to do a little bit later on. And I, I think that's probably when I will See you. Well, we just played a few rounds of the card game Tens, and uh, I will spare you guys the, the montage, further montages of us playing cards. <laughs> I know that's uh, been featured in some of my other episodes. Um, but now we are getting a little bit hungry again for something light, so I think we're going to try and find the Turtle Shack poolside snack something bar maybe poolside snacks turtle shack poolside snacks i think um because we're on the turtle pond loop or or what have you road turtle pond road and i think it's within walking distance so we are going to seek that out as soon as we figure out which direction we're going I found my ears, and um, yeah, now that it's kind of getting into the later afternoon, it is just delightful out. It's very, uh, very comfortable outside. And uh, I know that by the time I post this video, it's going to be weeks and weeks later. So just for the record, we're here at the end of April. Okay, then uh, we're approaching we the village pool for this section of the resort. Turtle shack. And there is the turtle shack okay. through the, the trees and the yeah. umbrellas. Well, isn't this just so cute? This is a very nice little area over here. It's not as, you know, um, themed as the main pool, but perfectly serviceable over here. Remember that I'm on dad's back. We're weighing our options for tonight because this is within walking distance of our villa. It would certainly be easier than like getting on the bus all soggy after visiting the feature pool, you know? So we may just walk back over here this evening and uh, avail ourselves of the hot tub here. Okay. We've uh, picked up some snacks from the pool bar. We have a tuna salad sandwich here, which kind of looks like the tuna salad might be outside the sandwich. I know, I think you make your own. <laughs> oh, can't get it open. Oh my, what? Okay, so this is like a build your own tuna salad sandwich. Um, okay, and the, the charcuterie is also a little bit 
sort of <laughs> not exactly assembled, per se. Uh, and then we have some house-made chips. Yeah, Dad's got a actually a pretty good-looking chicken sandwich. It's a huge piece of chicken. I'll take your tomato, babe. And uh, we got also a classic Mickey pretzel here with some plastic cheese. Overall, eh, not a bad spread for, you know, a pool snack bar that was within walking distance of our villa. Pretty good. Oops. Oh shoot, All right. mustard. Doing a build your own tuna sandwich here. I'm trying not to take more than half the tuna. Oh. Mom and I are splitting this. That's probably good. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna put a, the other pickle on there and maybe some lettuce. It's a tuna salad sandwich. <laughs> I mean, it's good. But yeah, that's what it is. I will say the bread they have is like this nice hearty kind of multi-grain bread, which is, uh, you know, it feels like you're not eating something that's just devoid of nutrition. I'm gonna dip this pretzel in the pasteurized processed cheese product here. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it doesn't taste like real cheese, but it's like, if you know what plastic cheese tastes like and you're okay with that, it's fine. And I am pretty much fine with it. We're sort of unearthing more layers of the charcuterie board here. Um, there are some nuts buried under there. So, I mean, it's not bad. Could, could the presentation be better? Uh, sure, but... It's all there. These house-made kettle chips also really actually complement the tuna sandwich quite well. So, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied, really. That was a good snack at the Turtle Shack. And uh, we're walking back now. It really is not a bad walk at all. So, the, uh, what is it called again? Turtle Pond Road yes. uh, is uh, not a bad place to be here because I think that is the only sort of auxiliary snack location. Um, so that's really good to have close by. I think we're gonna actually see if there's any parking. Like we're gonna drive over to the main um, hub, the Conk Flats kind of town center area and um, see if if there's any parking available because we would like to check out the main pool deck. So we shall see. We're gonna fit one last round of cards in before we don our swimsuits and head over to the main pool. Um, but I just wanted to show you how, how darn nice it is right now. <laughs> Um, sitting out on our patio at this villa. The DVC resorts uh, perennially tempt me to, <laughs> to take the plunge and buy DVC points. If only I could make the math make sense. But as I mentioned, you don't have to be a DVC member to stay at Old Key West. You can book directly through Disney just, you know, and, and pay as you would for any other resort. Or um, you can also rent points at this one, just as you would for any other 
DVC resort through various um, third-party rental agencies, and you can often find really good deals that way. We found a good parking spot, and uh, we're gonna check out the pool area here. But honestly, it's like really cool out, so I think it's mostly going to be a hot tub situation tonight, which is fine with me. It's so cool that the light in the lighthouse actually spins like a real lighthouse. Mom and I are feeling just a little bit hot from the hot tub, and so we're gonna try the water slide, although I think that's gonna maybe cure our feeling hot a little bit too well. Whew. There are a couple of people in the pool right now, a couple of brave souls. We'll see. Yeah. Entering the sand castle. You go first. was a better slide than the Bay Tower. <laughs> So we've discovered that once you're in the water, it's not bad at all. Quite a tolerable temperature. We've almost got the pool to ourselves at this point. And it's been super nice. The lighthouse is indeed a sauna. Ah. Smells like a sauna. But it's not bad. No, it's it's not very hot really. No. I just I just turned it on. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Dad turned it on. It is heating up in here, starting to feel like a proper sauna. Mom has pointed out that uh, this hot tub, similarly to our room actually, is one of the bigger ones that we've seen on Disney property as far as the resorts that we've experienced at least. It's definitely bigger than the ones at like Animal Kingdom Lodge or Fort Wilderness, which are the ones kind of in most recent memory. Bigger than the ones at the Contemporary too. Um, yeah, it's a pretty sizable hot tub and really our room was very spacious and that whole like outdoor patio area, I haven't seen anything like that as far as an outdoor space and like a standard room anywhere else on property. Well, that was a refreshing dip in the pool and now we are headed back to the room to uh, 
wind down, get some rest before our cruise day. <laughs> well, so ends our pre-day, if you will, at Old Key West Resort. Just one night here for now, because tomorrow is our embarkation day for our Disney Wish cruise. But honestly, I feel like we got so much out of this day. My biggest takeaway probably is that, you know, I had heard a lot of advice to leave, you know, a day early for your cruise, spend a night near Port Canaveral, you know, the Orlando area or Walt Disney World Resort. And I had not done that in the past. I've been on one Disney cruise in the past and I just flew straight down the morning of and then, you know, kind of like got straight on the ship and was exhausted. <laughs> Uh, and frankly risked, you know, flight cancellation or delays or what have you, this was definitely the way to do it. And I really loved that we spent the day on Walt Disney World property. Even though we didn't go to the parks, we still got to kind of like, you know, pregame a little bit with that Disney magic. We got a, a little teaser before our cruise. So I would highly recommend doing that um, to anyone looking to go on a Disney cruise, plan a little day before or after or both. I really wish we could have bookended this one, um, but it just didn't work out this time. But still, this was great. I really enjoyed Old Key West Resort. It has frankly exceeded my expectations. I just really love the vibe here. It's very relaxing. It's a very chill, kind of beautiful, you know, pastel shades, very very just, you know, vacation vibes here. So couldn't ask for anything better than that right before our cruise to the Bahamas. I would definitely like to revisit Old Key West Resort in the future. And really, I could see myself spending a significant amount of time here happily. So um, thank you guys for watching this particular mouse tale. If you haven't already seen the cruise videos, go back and watch those. Uh, for me right now, recording this, they're in the future, but for you, they're already posted. So um, you can check those out and you can check out the handful of other videos I have on my channel. So to close out this mouse tail, I have been Doc. You guys can follow me on Instagram right here. Um, if you haven't already, you know, please like and subscribe. And, uh, you know, I do call myself Doc, but as always, nothing presented on this channel should be taken as medical advice, except for this. Wear sunscreen, drink water, and don't forget to breathe. Bye-bye.